Uh, first, we're going to have a very brief look at what we learned yesterday, and uh, also have two short announcements regarding to, uh, today's lecture. Yesterday, we introduced Alpaca and Alpaca's purpose and features. Uh, first, that Alpaca is a parallel programming library, which enables you as the programmer to exploit your hardware's parallel capabilities. So Alpaca is a library if you want, is a library for you, if you want to program CPUs or GPUs in a parallel way. Alpaca is also an abstraction layer, which tries to abstract away the uh, differences between CPUs and GPUs on one hand, and also between different vendor infrastructures on the other hand. For example, uh, you can use Alpaca to access both CUDA GPUs and HIP GPUs. And Alpaca is also there for heterogeneous computing. Uh, this more or less follows from the first two bullet points because Alpaca is an abstract API. It is possible to use all available accelerators in your system at once, thus giving you access to your system's whole um, uh, capabilities. We also had a look at how to install, test, and run Alpaca. First, that uh, we typically use Git for downloading Alpaca and uh, the examples, and also that we use CMake in a reasonably recent version for, for configuration and building Alpaca. Uh, that's it for yesterday. Now, uh, regarding today's lecture, we're going to introduce some of Alpaca's core concepts today. These have a special notation. If you see anything written in uppercase where it typically shouldn't be in uppercase, this means that I'm referring to Alpaca's concept. If it's in lowercase, I'm talking about the ordinary thing. For example, if uh, you see lowercase device, it means a typical physical device like a GPU. If you see an uppercase device somewhere in the sentence, this means that I'm talking about Alpaca's device concept. Also, we're going to do some programming today. And uh, all of Alpaca's functionality lives inside the Alpaca namespace because I don't want to type Alpaca um, colon colon all the time. Uh, will be uh, imply that using namespace Alpaca is somewhere on all slides. Okay, that's it for the recap.